So unfortunately, unboxing all this stuff live was a total disaster because everything was out of frame. Uh, so I'll just walk through the parts instead. So what I just got was a box full of battery management and related parts. So this right here is the actual battery management system. So this is an Orion BMS-2. It has connections for 108 total battery cells, uh, of which I'll use 100, as well as connections for CAN bus communication with charger, instrumentation, etc., uh, current shunt, thermistors, things of that nature. So this actual main unit, all the cells have to wire in here. This is what does measurement of each individual cell voltage. It also monitors through here how much current and what temperature the battery is at. Uh, and then using those, using that information, it then talks through its CAN bus to tell the charger what needs to go on to charge the battery safely. Uh, based on temperature and things, it can also limit discharge rates or something like that in case the battery is too low or disable regen braking if the battery is too full. So I also have here wiring harnesses. So there's three 36 cell wiring harnesses where each one connects to a group of cells. that. I've also got in this box the wiring harness where CAN bus and 12-volt uh, power and things like that come into the BMS. And that's how it talks to the charger, which I'll be getting eventually, as well as how I can query it for battery status. It also talks to the charge ports so that the service equipment knows that there's an actual vehicle connected and then they can talk about how much current the vehicle can draw from the actual charger. So in here I have a USB to CAN bus adapter. This is what I'll be using to program the BMS to tell it what kind of battery I have and what sort of limits it has to set. And then to enforce those limits, I have here three GB200 Gigavac contactors. So these are just big relays that take 12 volt outputs from the battery management system and the other shutoff switches and safety switches and such, and will turn the pack voltage on and off. So I need one for pack voltage, one for the actual motor. Uh, because the motor needs to pre-charge before you can actually apply full power to it, so it has to have another relay to, stick, to do that sequencing, and then another for uh, running some of the high-voltage HVAC components. Here I have a service disconnect, so this can be turned on and turned off and locked for servicing the battery pack, um, just as another way to shut things down when you want to work. This box has the uh, accessory fuses, so these will power stuff like the AC compressor, the battery charger, the DC-DC converter, um, and they come in these cool flip-out holder things that keep it insulated when you're changing these fuses. This is the main fuse for the battery pack. So this is a 630 amp, 700 volt fuse, which I believe is just straight out of a Tesla. Um, 
I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this housing and how to connect it, but I'll work something out. Uh, so this will sit somewhere in the middle of the pack and we'll carry the full pack current and then blow if we're pulling too much. Um, it's 630 amp, which is a little below the motor rating, but should be high enough that it'll be fine for the short duration full torque surges. This is the same fuse that Tesla uses on similar vehicles. Uh, so it shouldn't blow, which is a pretty <laughs> catastrophic event if it does when you're really pushing the gas. And then this here is the current sensor. So one of the battery main cables goes through this loop and that's how the BMS measures how much current is going into or out of the battery at any time, as well as a few feet of wiring harness to connect that back up to the BMS. Um, and actually this harness has on it the, these, these ends are actually the thermistors for measuring the battery pack temperature. Um, so embedding these in the battery pack will let it know if it's getting too hot or too cold for a good operation. So that's all the parts that just arrived. Uh, still waiting on the charger as well as all the other uh, stuff that I haven't ordered yet, like the water pump for battery cooling and such.